Chrissy, thank you. A new restaurant lets you grab a drink and then you take a ride on a carousel. Hope it goes real slow, though, because <laughs> don't, you know. I have two drinks. Hey, let's go spin around. Heather Lake, they thought this through, is live in Little Italy this morning with an inside oh. look. Okay, here we go. Here's the deal. Oh. It goes super slow, right? Like those restaurants are on top oh, of buildings. Is it for grown ups? Yes. Okay, so here's here's my guess. Is it's like one, like probably like one to two mile. Not even. It's like one mile an hour, maybe. Okay, so here's the oh. deal. It's like you know, like a people mover, right? When you're at the the Hi. airport. Hi, okay. Tina. <laughs> okay. She's the she's the girl at the at the bar behind the bar helping us out and the general manager. So here you go. We're stepping on. You go for just like a very slow ride, although Tina, I ask, come on over here. Um, how do you pour drinks if the, if the bar is moving and you're not? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so the inside of the bar does not move. However, when you're done making your drink, you do have to then find your person and where it belongs. But um, the inside stays still. So you're moving, I am not. I know. I was going to say, because you're trying to pour and then like the bar is moving and you're like, whoa. Um, people have obviously loved this place. You guys are new. You're like this destination bar and restaurant and you've got this cool renaissance flair but what's really neat is you're gonna get to see all the artwork as you are basically sitting here all night so you get this full experience mm -hmm. yeah it's great and um, so all of our artwork does have some fun little Easter eggs in them as well like if you look above in some of these you're gonna see find some UFOs um, we've got some interesting characters in the mural on the wall uh, there's always something uh, new that I find every day when I come to work that I didn't notice before did you see that I'm moving while we're talking yeah. it's like it's such a funny way to interview someone one where I'm like I'm walking away from you but I'm not I know in the in some of the artwork there's like people on horses but then there's people on segways as well so there's like a modern twist with this like renaissance fair um, do people ever tell you that they got dizzy after they've had <laughs> a drink here sometimes there have been a few guests that sit down for a moment and they're like nope we're gonna move to a table oh! I have a little bit of motion sickness so yeah that has happened before i have to tell you what there are so many really cool places that have opened in san diego during the pandemic this is one of them and these kind of like destination moments where you're going to go somewhere you're not only going to get a meal and a cocktail but you're going to get a full experience are people coming here more for the drinks or the food or both what have you seen so far definitely for both okay. um we weren't expecting everyone to be so into the food that they are, but our chef Peter has created a great menu and the guests are loving it. Yeah. And we're super excited about I it. I love it. I know. I, we're, wa we're walking away quite literally from you. Um, let's go check out some of the food. Take a quick step over here. How fun, Chef Peter, what you've created. Look at this. And we've got the horses moving and everything. So this is kind of fun. You could put like eight people around here almost. How many How many people do you normally um, dine here? Usually we sit about six, six to eight. And it gets a little bit crowded, but we can add two chairs on the outside and uh, you're nice and snug, but you're, yeah. with, you're with close friends or family and just enjoying having a good time. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, very elegant. You have a Parisian inspired menu here. I see the truffles. I was um, smelling them earlier. I'm like, ooh, oh, yeah. getting fancy on beautiful, me. Beautiful Perigold <laughs> truffles. Uh, the season just started. Um, very expensive, very delicious. Uh, it definitely is a huge treat to have them here, uh, kind of showcase them. It all smells so good. So we've got some steak with pommes frites. What else do you have here? Correct. So we have some of the, the classic French things that you're going to see normally. Uh, our French onion soup, our oysters Rockefeller, we have some marinated olives. We also have a baguette that we serve with our house cultured butter, a little bit of shallot ash on top. Um, and of course our, our steak frites, which is kind of like a, a huge staple. Uh, Serve with some Bernays and then we usually shave some truffles on the side. Know, if, do you uh, want to do that for me? Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy. I'm going to take in. I wish you had smell-o-vision at home because I'm like, there's the truffle and the French, uh, palm frites, excuse me, I was about mm -hmm. to say French fries. They're, <laughs> see, you try to make me fancy at a I fancy place it. and I call them French fries. Oh my goodness. So Shali, Raul, Chrissy, I need some friends wow. to join me. It's a oh, little bit. Hey, I'm Peter, in. you can join me. That's my plate Wait, right um, there. <laughs> Wait, I'm all here in. Here we go. Yeah. Little Italy has the best restaurants. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, I know, San Diego really does. Up top. You guys yeah. are rocking nice it. Appreciate you. Doing so good in San Diego. Is there Diego, a control on the speed for the uh, carousel? I doubt it. <laughs> like, like if, if the, Tina at the bar wants to you mess know, with like everyone, if they she too many, you kind of spin it up. No. <laughs> Kick them off? <laughs> it's one speed. It's one speed. One and speed. I was going to say, Josh Jenkins, our photographer, and I have been at the one at Belleville Park that's like 100 years old. Right. And it is so fast. It's like the fastest carousel that yeah, I've that ever been on. Fast. And I was so grateful that when I got on here, it wasn't the same. Uh, back in the day when the <laughs> just chill. kids went flying. Just chill. See, because another question would be for like the job of the bartender. Part of the mentality is knowing where the drinks are going. It's not just 
seeing your client, but also like yeah. there's the area where you know that that group is, the oh, area where you know that person. And now sure. it's like, wait, what, what, what? what? I would make my people wear name tags. I would be exactly. like, and you're wearing a name mm. tag because I'm never going to remember where any of you are sitting. Look at all that food. Heather, mm, thank that you. That looks so good. Oh Let's go. You want to go? Yeah, man, I'm down.